welcome to another episode of 15 Minute Masterpieces. My name is Lisa Maguiar, and uh, we're gonna do a 15 minute painting today. So today we're doing our fiscal responsibility by uh, reusing an old canvas that just didn't get finished, and I, I didn't like where it was going, so I gessoed over it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got little cracks and some texture on it. That's just because the gesso was a little old, but I'm gonna roll with it and maybe that'll add something to my painting today. Um, not 100% what I'm doing as always, so let's just go ahead and get started. And I'm just using the large round brush. I have a lot of uh, options with it. I can do a lot of things, it's very versatile. I'm just gonna kind of blend the colors on the canvas, making sure to get that texture coated in there because I don't want little white lines. And if you can give your brush a little turn as you're getting close to those edges, then that'll keep a nice bead of paint so you get clean lines. We're working fast, we only have 15 minutes. So we wanna make sure we have clean lines as we're going. You can see this scritchy scratchy. I need to add a little bit of water to my paint so I can get a better flow. That went dark. Let's get some more red in there and kind of blend that black out. I just want to make sure I'm getting a good background coat on that. Step back, wash out our brush. It'll all come together. Oops, a little drippy. That's okay, we'll make it work. And I'm noticing that I forgot to put white on my palette. Oops. We'll make it work. 
Maybe we'll add some yellow in there. Just kind of mix and get some fun lime greens. Again, we're just trying to get some background color on there real quick. And see what this painting wants to be. trying to kind of mirror what I just did on this side without stepping in front of the camera. Let's switch this up. I know the guys are really confused right now. <laughs> he said, sometimes we just gotta get that initial layer on and it looks weird and it doesn't really look like anything or it looks like a lot of other stuff that it's not. And then it'll start to come together. I'm just letting the point of the round brush kind of do the work for me. And I'm gonna have to switch it up and go back left-handed. Not as good with my left hand, but I want that same direction or flow of the paint that I get from one side. And I want those little points that my round brush allows it to do. And it's kind of blending in with that green and the blues. I really like that. Now we're just kind of going in with some purple. I forgot my white. I'm gonna go in with some yellow, kind of lighten this up. I'm just allowing my brush to be dirty, which means I don't clean it. That allows it to kind of blend in so you don't get, you know, just random strikes of color. So I kind of feel like we have a featheriness going on. I am gonna rinse my brush now. Put that one back and 
pull out my filbert and I'm going to mix some of this red and uh, orangey yellow just to kind of lighten that up a little bit. So we do kind of have a little rainbow thing going on. I wasn't necessarily going for rainbow. But that is apparently what we've done, or I've done. Looking to get arty in Enid, Oklahoma? Join us at Creative Arts Enid, 222 East Maple. The water just helps it to flow, so you get clean lines. You notice it's always a pull. If you release your pressure, then you start to get a thinner line as it goes up and out. So now it's starting to come together. Now we're coming in and just kind of outlining some areas I feel like it's kind of turned itself into oh, some kind of angry bird. <laughs> Maybe a, an angry owl or something. I, I wish I would have grabbed my white and added that onto my palette. So then I could have highlighted some areas, especially, you know, like here in the eyes. And uh, I would probably go back and white out this beak area and repaint him a little bit. But I always give the eyes a little uh, worried, worry lines on there. And then uh, I think, yeah, that would be it. So thank you for joining me for another 15 minute masterpieces and come back next time. Thank you. <laughs>